morning and good afternoon and good evening everyone. Big Jow's Garage here and on today's episode we're going to do a comparison on a factory Mark II uh, front crossbar in comparison to Fabulous Manufacturing's uh, crossbar which is number one, lighter, unique, and it's an easier install and it actually saves you money, believe it or not. So let's get to do this because this is Pinchiao's Garage. here this is a factory uh, front crossbar or cross member this is fabulous manufacturing's uh, cross member here now what's really cool about the factory one obviously number one it has the radiator support it has the motor mount here but look at the difference in the amount of metal to begin with uh, this right here is actually Fabulous' uh, motor mount for 1.8 T's. So, really, really simple design. I'm using a BBM, is it BM? Yeah, BBM uh, solid motor mount on this side. And you can see the differences. Now, what we're going to do is actually compare number one, ease of install, number two, weight, and number three is what it looks like. So, Let's do the weight first, and then we're going to do the easy of the install, and see the difference in how they look. So for us to do the weight, we're going to be using a digital scale here. Um, really simple. We tap it, and pretty much we let it zero out. I'm going to pull a towel on here so I don't damage the actual uh, glass. And then we're going to put the factory one right here. Jesus, this thing's heavy. And then, ah, oh, oh, zeroed out. Let's see here. And then we're going to put this bad boy right on top. Now 21.4, I don't know if that's accurate, but we're going to zero it out again. And we're going to see if we can change the weight by putting it uh, vertically. So, towel back on here. So I'm just holding it in place. 21.4. So, that's the weight on the factory one with the solid motor mount on it. So, now we're going to do Fabulous and see what Fabulous weighs. So we're going to add this motor mount and this bar right on top. We are pretty much at 11.9 or 12 pounds. Not too shabby, Fabulous. So half the weight pretty much in comparison to the factory one. So the next part is we're going to see what they look like in the bay in comparison of the two. Obviously the Fabulous one is going to look great. But we're trying to figure out ease of install and pretty much the, where is it? Ease of install and looks. I mean, to you and me, I mean, I can take the Fabulous all day. <laughs> so now we're here uh, with the kit that we were talking about, and we're going to mount it in my Mark II. Now, these use the factory mounting holes right here down here below so you'll see there's one and two plus this um, I think uh, Fabulous eliminates this one and only uses these two and so they provide you a nut and bolt for it for both sides 
so you can see that. So we're going to mount the factory one first and then show you the factory one installed and then the aftermarket one installed. So you guys can see, I know it's dark, but bear with me. So there is a bolt hole here, same on the other side. You're going to be using your two bolts here and then you're going to grab your bar, lift it up. It's not the easiest of bars to install. And just hand thread it. And don't put it in sideways. Now, like I said, this is this is an easy one to install because there's only two bolts to get the bar started. Now, to fully install the factory bar, it's not just that bolt, but you also need the two here, and then the front su core support for the factory front bar. Now, on Fabulous, we're going to show you the difference here. So, you can see it's bolted on. There's two, still two more holes to go to get this bar fully bolted in. But that's how you get it, and then here's your motor mount. Pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not hard. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say it's hard. But the Fabulous one requires a little bit more bolts, but it's an actually a better option. Now that I showed you the factory one, so now to install the aftermarket one, you will need your front uh, support. Press the actual uh, lower crossbar. Uh, the reason why you need the front support is because they have the two uh, nuts right here that you need to bolt in the bottom one. Since the new one no longer uses that bolt on the side, we have to use this front bar to get it installed. Very simple, and I'll show you. And actually what's cool about this, it kills two birds with one stone. You get that in, mounted, done. Um, my only recommendation is when you're going to put your motor in, install your motor in first, and then mount this bar after the fact. Do not try to put your engine in while this is in here. You don't have enough space, and you can damage your paint, which is really, really vital. Especially if you did a shave bay, you really want your paint to be as clean as possible. So next, we're going to install the big beam, the front beam. Oh, before I forget, there's two uh, bolts here you need to take out as well. These line up the bar up in front. So you get this. And then what you do, put your bar in, just like that, and do the other right, side. Now that we got our main bar, the front bar mounted, the next part of the job is actually to put in your actual lower bar. Really cool, um, like I said, really simple. Now there is a, you got to remember there is a, you have to install it like factory, so uh, the motor mount uh, does sit uh, towards the front, so you want this bolt sitting towards the front, just like the factory one, that way you can mount it correctly. So they provide you all the nuts and bolts that you need, so here's the washer and all that. Um, Make sure you use those. Uh, you can reuse your old stuff. I don't recommend it. Make sure you use all your new hardware uh, to get this installed correctly. Pretty much you're going to lift. Get this up here. Now what you want to do is try to get this as flat as you can when you get to the other side. 
that way you can let it hang just for a second. And install the other one. on the other side. It's good. Need a little bit of play because this fits pretty dang snug. All right, peeps. So, to get your bar requires a little bit more extra effort, but I can see why. I hit up Fabulous uh, to see why it was a little difficult to get the bar in. Um, um, and the issue was that, you know, some cars, as uh, Pete explained to me from Fabulous, that some cars, you know, are older. Sometimes the frames are a little different in size. So the bar, even though it's the exact size, the body might not be. So um, what you need to do is get yourself a flathead screwdriver and pry on the inside of the bar to actually bend, not bend, but slightly bend the bar over to get the holes lined up correctly. Once you do that, you can hand tighten all the screws, all the bolts, I mean, which is what I did. Didn't take much effort at all. And then... Um, Got the bar actually in in spot in, in place correctly. So now the next part is now that we have the bar installed, um, actually fitment of the radiator and the motor mount. But the radiator will be afterwards because I still haven't received it yet. We're using a VR6 radiator for this uh, build. But we're gonna actually mount the motor mount and then we're gonna show you how to do that really quick. So this right here is the actual motor mount with hardware. Now depending on which bolts you're using for your motor mount uh, to mount your transmission and your engine to the actually the front of the car. Uh, as per Pete's statement, um, he said uh, to just in case you get the wrong bolt or you have a different size starter bolts, these might have to be uh, opened up a little bit so you can get the other bolts correct because some of the Mark IVs early and late models had two different style bolts to um, to mount so just give you guys a for future reference on this but this is very very straightforward you'll see here put this bad boy in place run the gigantic bolt right through Tighten it down. So, I don't know yet 100% if it's like this or the other way around until I get the engine in here. Um, so there's that. Once the engine's mounted, then we'll actually see correctly where that actually goes. But beautiful, beautiful bar. Way less stuff inside the bay. Very, very excited for it. So the next thing I'm actually going to do is get the actual front and on here and um, I got another part that needs to be installed so I'll get that going next but for so far right now this fabulous bar is amazing I'm already loving the amount of openness in here um, I might actually figure out how to fabricate a, a, a belly pan underneath here so I can keep the bay uh, more dust free over time since it is a black engine bay we're gonna need to figure that out but thanks for watching this episode of Pinch House Garage and stay tuned for so much more because we have so much more coming uh, to finish this Mark II up finally. Um, next time you guys see this, it will be painted and ready for, for the streets and for car shows because this is going to be a very cool build once we're done with it. Peace out.